to make several passes over the hole where the snake was in, enabled to let the man take a picture of it. And I made certainly between four and six passes right over the hole where the snake was in. By then I was already flying for 25 years, so I have a very good experience of uh, measuring things. And I would say the snake I saw there was close to 50 foot, close to 50 feet. I don't know you say 50 foot or 50 feet, but very close to certainly. And it was moving inside the hole and looking very dark green, deep green brown with his belly white. Now when I came down on that snake in his hole, and I would say at about 25, 30 foot up, the snake raised up by about, I would say, 10 foot. And I could very clearly and closely see the head, which was looking, and I could not com make a better comparison as with a very large horse, with big, very, very big jaws looking triangular. And you're just standing up like there to me, and I, I feel and I'm convinced if, it, if, it, if I had been in its range, it would have struck at me, it would have been striking me. And yet, I would say it was certainly at least, at least on the valley, two foot wide and three foot long. It could have easily eaten up a man. This is one of those rare cases where we have an expert witness and an excellent photograph. Analysis of the ground features suggests that this animal was indeed at least 40 feet long. So, choose which.